What's going on everyone? In this video, we're gonna be covering exactly how you can merge audio and video files together, make them one video, one seamless video. You know, like the videos you guys see on TikTok, Instagram with the voiceovers and the images or, you know, the videos. So I'm gonna show you exactly how you guys can do that inside of N8N. Very first step is head over to file.ai. Make sure that you add like five or $10 to your account and then you grab your API key. If you don't know what an API key is, basically just go to one of the other videos covering the authorization methods. That's what an API key is, so you can authorize your account, right? Um, when you get here, what you wanna do is essentially search up this FFmpeg, and this is what we're going to be using, is this merge, actually merge audio to video. Sorry, we're gonna be using this one. FFmpeg slash AI, API, merge audio to video. And if I click on it here, you can do it native inside of the app application if you want to. So you can just merge your audio and video files if you want to um, here. But that's not what we're here for. We're here to do it, you know, completely on autopilot um, and let AI handle the work. So what you want to do is essentially you can come here to the API, check it out if you want to. Um, but what I would do here is change this from form just to JSON or you can leave it form. Doesn't really matter. None of this even matters, uh, but what you do need is you need to copy this. And then we head back over to N8N. I do wanna show you guys a merge node. You have to have essentially two links that are shareable um, and, and public, basically. You have to have two links that are public. So if you see these two links here are public links, this API can use and see. I am gonna get a new API key authorization method, so don't worry about that. Um, but for you guys, basically, what I'm saying is, um, the HTTP request is gonna be a post method using this URL here. So you can just copy it in and then you have your own authorization with your key and then your authorization key. Like I said, I'm gonna go show you guys how to actually get that really quickly. Um, so if you go back there and then you click, you go to your account, and you can press on API keys right here. Now, if I press add key, that's how you add an API key, which I'll do once this video is finished and basically change all my API keys. But the whole point is you kind of do your API key, content type, application slash JSON, and then the body, most important part, you wanna add the video underscore URL, audio underscore URL, and then basically you put the exact, make sure that you put the video where the video URL is and the audio where the audio URL is, right? And if those links are both public, everything should then work, everything should start processing. You wanna make sure that you have a wait note after that because um, you know you have to wait to get that data back because it's processing. So for mine, I do three minutes and then we get the status the status basically shows if it's completed or not. If it's not completed, what we do is we loop back around and then we just wait again, get the status again. If the video is completed like this video is, we go here to get results. This is gonna be a get method with the URL that you guys have from your status, right? So you're gonna get this status right here. Um, or my bad, you're gonna get the response URL. So all you do is slide the response URL here and then the authorization is the only header you need. And I did not show the get status, so for get status, it's literally you slide the status URL here, you do a get method, authorization, your key, content type, um, and JSON. And then here to download the video, you're gonna just download the video from your results that you just got. So, you know, you can download it as a binary file or you can upload that URL right here um, to a database or data sheet or something like that or you can store it inside of Google Drive. So that's pretty much you know the full walkthrough of merging the audio files, waiting, getting the status, getting the results, and downloading the video. All of whatever I'm doing before that doesn't really matter, but you have to ensure that the links that you are merging together and that you're sending over to the API are public. If they're not public, it won't work. We're gonna cover how you can get public URLs in a different video, but hope you liked it. See you on the next one.